Chicago Public Schools are now sharing details about budgets for next year. WJN's Dana Revick is joining us with the latest figures and details on the district's new funding model. Dana? Well, as federal COVID-19 relief uh, dollars are set to run out this fall, Chicago Public Schools CEO Pedro Martinez is working to balance a budget with a deficit in the hundreds of millions while revamping the way the district distributes resources to schools. A big change coming next year to the funding model for Chicago Public Schools, moving from a student-based to a needs-based budgeting formula. This budget relied on a metric called the Opportunity Index to determine the level of need within a school community. The index relies on community, demographic, and historical factors to assess where schools and students are furthest from need. It means schools in disenfranchised communities could see more funding and guarantees a set number of positions at each school, including an assistant principal. Every elementary school will have at least three holistic teachers. These are teachers that are elective teachers, one for the arts, one for physical education, one that the principal can use for a position of their choice, be it a language teacher a STEM specialist, or another type of educator that would meet their school's unique needs. The district plans to hire 200 new teachers, reducing the number of split grade classrooms at the elementary level. But there is a projected $400 million deficit with this budget proposal, which CPS says it plans to reduce in part by making cuts to the central office. This all comes as a bill to prevent the school board from closing any schools or making cuts or changes to admission requirements to charter and magnet schools until 2027 stalled in Springfield. After passing both the House and Senate, Mayor Brandon Johnson sent a letter to the Senate president asking him not to bring the bill to a vote worrying it could prevent the district from balancing its budget. We didn't see any impact from the bill itself because there is no plans from my team to do anything different with our selective enrollment or magnet schools. In a district CPS officials and Mayor Brandon Johnson say is not fully funded, leaders are calling on the state for more help. Has been articulated, there is at least a $1.1 billion investment that Springfield could make to ensure that all of our children have what they deserve. That's what my focus has been. It's what it will continue to be. The governor's office has said that state funding for CPS has increased by 14 percent since 2019. Martina says the full CPS budget will be posted by June 12th, and that is before the next Board of Ed meeting next month. That is June 27th when they will officially vote on a budget.